From the Broadmoor <coughs> Trophy champion Minnesota State Mavericks, we have head coach Mike Hastings, senior forward Chase Grant, and freshman forward and tournament most outstanding player Brad McClure. Coach, we'll open up with comments from you and then turn it over to questions. Uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to uh, send congratulations to, uh, to Tech as far as, you know what, they made it extremely difficult. Uh, they pretty much squeezed uh, the majority of the life out of us there in the second period. Um, and I think they're going to be a team that's uh, going to do well uh, in their third season here going to the national tournament and represent the WCHA very well. Um, secondly, I'd like to say thank you to the Excel Center. Um, this is a special place. And I, I've walked out of here on a Saturday not winning and still thought it was a special place. Uh, it was great to see all the, the Maverick fans and people that decided to come and watch hockey here instead of elsewhere. Uh, so very appreciative of that. And uh, the Excel Center just continues to serve uh, which you hope a facility like this would do. Um, so good day with the uh, the Wild winning and us winning. So with that. Questions? Mike, if uh, someone had said before the tournament that Brad McClure was going to be the best player on the ice, what would you have said? There's a possibility of that. You know, <laughs> not going to say I'd take it to the bank, but... <laughs> <laughs> You know what, I'll, I'll tell you this. They, um, I've talked to Freddie uh, Harbinson, who's a coach in Penticton a long time ago, and uh, he did tell me, you know, his nickname up in BC was, you know, Captain Clutch. Uh, he's a guy that has a history of scoring big goals, has a history of scoring a lot of them. Uh, so going back to that, uh, Freddie, I'd tell you that there was, there was a chance for that to happen. And, um, Brad was very deserving of the MVP. Uh, he made a tremendous impact both nights, and I'm happy he's wearing our jersey. Brad, what, what was the third period like? It seemed like it had to be pretty special. What, tell us about it. Yeah, to be honest, uh, there's uh, there quite a few bounces go my way, obviously, and it's always nice to have those. You know, some nights you, you don't have those, and tonight it just seemed like the puck was on my stick at the right time, and found the back of the net a couple times. Chase, um, <clears throat> I remember like, during captain's practices, things like that, people talking about the way Brad shot the puck and kind of raved about it. Can you remember back to those early fall days and, and seeing him play for the first time and what you, your impressions were at that point? Well, uh, right away, you could just tell he's extremely skilled. I mean, he's got a really good release, and the second goal couldn't have been, uh, you know, any better of an example of that. And, uh, you know, just all of our freshmen really coming in were extremely skilled, and they just seem to keep getting better and better, which makes my life a little harder. But, uh, no, uh, coming from back then, he's progressed a long ways this year, as the rest of our team has, and uh, he's going to be a special player going forward. Uh, Brad, um, Mike talked about it last night, how you know, everybody on your team has been you know, stepping up this season. You know, you're a freshman, but you know, this season you proved you, you know, play as well as anybody out there. Um, what, what's it like you know, stepping up and you know, being a team leader? Despite... Yeah, obviously it's, it's, it's nice to step up and, and be that guy, but I, I think there's a lot of thanks that goes into other lines that don't get appreciated. You look at the line of Gady, Knowles, Nelson, they built a lot of energy to start that third period for us. And I think it's guys like that that they don't get appreciated as much as they should, but they really build team energy for the whole bench. Mike, what's your secret in the third period? And <clears throat> even with as good as a third period team as you've been, less than 15 minutes on the clock, what are you thinking at that point? Well, we, we discussed a little bit in between periods that uh, it's hard. Right, and, and and I thought we we started to pull apart a little bit in the second period, where not from a standpoint of lack of discipline or, or want to, we just I think we had guys doing it as individuals at times, and started to create uh, Tech's offense a little bit, giving them outnumbered rushes, those types of things, and the way they defend, you've got to stick with it and stick together and make sure that you know the the goal that that Nelson scores. Uh, it's from in tight. It's five feet away. 
you know, and, and find a way to get one by them. And from that point on, I thought it, things started to loosen up. You look at uh, Brad's first one, uh, I thought the play in the second period, we were just grabbing and throwing pucks. You know, they were defending, and I didn't think we made a lot of plays, but Palmquist goes back and shakes a defender and gets us out of the zone tape to tape, and away we went, and we ended up scoring uh, a very big goal. And uh, so, you know, I, I thought the guys settled down, and once we got the first one, I thought they started playing off of each other a lot more and playing in groups of five instead of maybe one guy pulling that rope at a time. What was the difference in your power play from the first <coughs> Well, puck movement, again, using each other. Um, they're, they've decided that they were going to take Leitner away and, and um, try and deny uh, some of our play up top, and we weren't getting pucks to the net. Um, and the one thing that Brad can do, it, guys, he, he, doesn't, he can shoot from our bench as far as I'm concerned. I mean, he, he, he has a release. He likes to do it. He's good at it. And what we had talked about in between you know, our, our power plays there was just we got to get some pucks to the net. And we got some pucks to the net. Um, and you never know. Uh, it's just hard to score goals at this time, and especially against that team. So we got a couple of bounces, as Brad says, and we'll take them. Brad, I know it's late in the year, but I mean, you're, it, it's, uh, you're pretty confident as a shooter from, from the get-go. Is that just something that's your own mentality, or is it something that comes from coach telling you, you know, from the time you get here to not be afraid of that, or how does that? Yeah, I think I think you always just got to stick with your game and keep working at that. Obviously, it's definitely a lot harder at this level, but you, you can't just not work on it. You got to work on that every day to be catch up with these guys. You know, there's been there's guys that have played for four years. This is their fourth year and and you, you got to catch up and practice and work on those little things every day. And I've been trying to do that. Just like when Tech goes two for two on their power play, you know, you're roughly halfway through the game. Do you talk to your guys about staying out of the box at that point or you know, change your game or anything like that? I thought we, you know, I had talked to Todd Kanad, who's done a phenomenal job uh, with our penalty kill. And I just said, I said, what do, what do you think for adjustments? And he said, you know what, we had the second one, we had an opportunity to clear, didn't get it out. And that group's good enough that if you give them a second bullet, they're going to shoot you. And that's what happened. And um, needed to win a face off on the first one, didn't, you know, it's, it's so important. And I think that's. That's something that, that sometimes gets overlooked. We didn't win a face-off in our D zone on the first one, and it didn't take them long to get it to the net and get a rebound. And they're good. So, uh, you know what, at this time, our guys understand what our bar is as far as discipline. Um, and I give them a lot of credit for being bright players, and they knew if we were going we to continue to go to the box, we weren't going to have an opportunity to win the hockey game. So this is kind of um, added on to my first question, but... Uh, what has Brad meant to you on and off the ice? I mean, obviously, uh, an outstanding tournament like this, but what has he brought to the table since day one? Well, and again, I think, you know, and I've, I've mentioned it before, the, the people that have had an opportunity to coach Brad before he, he came to Minnesota State, I'm thankful for, because uh, they've done a good job. The second part of that is he does a good job. He was prepared when he got here. You know, he had an opportunity to go to Pittsburgh's developmental camp this summer. I think it put him in the right frame of mind of saying, hey, you know what? If I want to get to that level, there's certain things I have to do to prepare. He does that. He takes the game very seriously, his preparation very seriously. And then the last part of it is, is as you can see, he handles himself well. He's a good kid. He's a guy that uh, has helped us off the ice as much as he has on the ice. And when you get that, you feel fortunate as a coach. So... Um, I, I, I probably can't do justice to what he's, you know. We, we need those guys. We, we need to keep building our program, and he, he's somebody that, uh, like I said, we're glad he's wearing our jersey. Chase, your goal, not only important to get the equalizer before the end of the first, but you were in the box for there, so how it's important for you with your leadership role to kind of come back and, and get that one in? Well, I, I knew I had to do something, contribute in some way to make up for that mistake. Uh, you know, I, I watched the replay, and... I apparently did not try very hard to get out of the goalie's way. So uh, when, that, when that puck went in the back of our net eight seconds into my penalty, I, I came back to the bench and I said, that one's on me. I got to get that back. And I was going to try my best to do it one way. And it just turned out that it was a goal. And uh, I was fortunate enough to get that. Sterno made a great play. And I had a yawning cage to put it into. Back. Brad, the, uh, the second goal you got, 
kind of interesting. Did you watch it in the replay? Yeah, I did. Kind of did a flamingo and got your stick down and deflected it. I mean, that was amazing. Is that something you can work on? Um, no, I, I honestly, there's a lot of credit to Teddy there. He he put the puck in the right place. He wasn't shooting high that I couldn't get my stick on it. And, uh, yeah, I think he, he put the puck in the right place, and I just tried to get a piece on it to deflect it a different way than it was going. <laughs> yeah, you, you can say that, I guess. <laughs> Well, um, you know what our, our hope for tomorrow, I was trying to take it in real small steps. That's about all I can handle. And so we'll we'll get back. We'll enjoy this tonight. Um, have the guys have an opportunity to see their families that are here and uh, the people that took time to come and see them. So we won't hurry up and get out of here. But we will get back. we got to get rest. Um, and then we've got a, a selection show uh, tomorrow in town um, that we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see – you know where we're going to be and who we're going to be playing. Um, this group's done a good job of, and I, we talked a little bit about it yesterday, of just living today. Um, so we're going to let them live today, and uh, when tomorrow shows up, uh, they they'll they'll handle it well and uh, get prepared for what we've got in front of us. As great as this weekend has been for you guys, is there any specific aspects <coughs> of your play that you're looking to improve as you go on to the NCAA tournament? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, and, you know, again, uh, the coaches, what do we do? We, 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 <laughs> we focus on the bad things, right? So um, there, there's some things we've got to get better at. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll look at those. I've got to do a, you know, I'm better at looking at things after the fact. Um, so we'll take a look at it, and whatever it is, we'll, we'll get to that on Monday. Um, but let the guys enjoy what, what they accomplished. Mike, with all the history of the, and tradition of the WCHA, it, it's a new league. Do you feel like you're kind of leaving a little vanguard here to, to break through and reach that plateau again? Well, we hope so. You know, I, I'm going to say that I really meant what I said about I, I don't know if Bowling Green's getting in. Um, I, I don't know if that's already done, but I can just say this. Um, I was fortunate enough to be in the WCHA in their last year of the old WCHA. And, they, they, you know, I think we were f a couple of points out of first place there uh, that year. Um, it didn't get done. And we're just trying to kind of move the bar in our own program. Um, but so is everybody else in the WCHA. Uh, I know Alaska uh, was dealt a little bit of a blow not being able to be qualified for the tournament here. And I'm going to tell you, and I, I guarantee you these guys would concur, really good hockey team. Um, so the top four in the WCHA this year, really good, and they earned it, um, just like it was three years ago. So I think the, the, the WCHA, and I think if you can ask, you know, you come, you were, you've been around a bit, right? You know, what do you think of the hockey? That was a great night, not just because we came back and scored. If Tech would have done the job and beat us, I'd have still told you it's two good hockey teams going at it nose to nose. I've uh, got a lot of respect for the teams that are coming out of our league and going to the NCAA tournament. Anything else? Shane? Um, Mike, and then Chase, you can maybe uh, answer this too. But what, what does it mean to, to defend this? I mean, this is your first opportunity to, to defend something that you had um, in going into the weekend. And knowing that you're in pretty good shape at NCAA tournament-wise, and you had that to defend. Uh, it's, it's really hard to put into words. Obviously, it was a goal at the start of our year. Um, <laughs> I think every team starts out with that goal, but we knew it was realistic. And we knew it was going to be hard to hard to do. It's hard when you have that target on your back after winning it last year, being a really good Ferris State team. And uh, this year was tough. I mean, Tech was a really, really tough team to beat. And I, I didn't know if we were going to get it done there in the second period, but we regrouped in the locker room. And just to do it with this group of guys, the way we did it, it's special. I'll have it forever. for Brad. Um, if you guys win the national championship, are you going to shave your mullet? <laughs> yes, that'll uh, that'll definitely be coming off right after the hockey season. 